Hi everybody, it's Julie and I am here with a tutorial on how I am making um, little Polaroid pieces using things that I already have um, and not using my Cricut. <laughs> so what I have is I made this little Polaroid and um, I went ahead and left the tab. I, I just liked it. So here we go. So um, what I'm going to show you is how I made this. So I have my square punch and I have this file folder that says the file folder is 1 and 7 eighths by 1 and 3 sixteenths. And so it makes a little miniature file folder that looks like this. It even has the little fold pieces here so that you can easily fold it in half. Make a cute little file folder. And I've made um, little miniature cards and things using it. But today I'm going to use it to make a little Polaroid. So um, what I have here is some leftover photo paper and I am going to cut out the square first. Okay, and I'm pushing it all the way in and there we go. So we've cut out the little square and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this punch over and I'm going to line up the square in the center here. Now hopefully this works because I'm at an odd angle, angle to be able to do this. So I'm doing it from this side and yeah I'm going to pull it forward because this is not happening. There we go. Okay, so this is what I got. And I am going to go ahead and take a pair of scissors and just carefully cut off that bottom piece. Could cut off the top piece also, but I'm just going to cut off the bottom. Um, ah, I cut off the wrong one. I like using the, the shorter one, but that's okay. Um, so here, we'll go ahead and make another one. So again, we'll go push it in all the way to the bottom. And then we'll put this in. I'm stuck. Stuck on something. Oh, it's because it's all foldy down there. There we go. Okay. So let's pull this side up. So I'm lining this because this is the top. This little, the little piece is what I want to be the top this time. So there I have it lined up. And there we go. So, oh, I'm a little off. But that's okay. There we go. Oh, I got <laughs> So you can cut both sides and have it be more like a little Polaroid. Okay? So we'll do one more. I think I have one more piece. Actually, I would prefer to use um, thicker, uh, thicker paper. And this is actually, a, um, as you can see, put something from in my stash here, uh, my stash of trash. This one will give a more significant, um, it's thicker, and and it's harder to get the punch through. <laughs> okay, so I save my packaging 
I use it in a lot of my um, my projects. I use the the um, plastic part to repackage things, and then use the especially the decorative ones for different projects. Um, so some of the other packaging that I have that I'll be cutting out, I have this that says celebrate it. So I'm just gonna cut it out, put it in my word holder. And this one that says party, I've actually used these on a couple. Dollar General, this is what they do on their, their party stuff. I'm just going to cut that out. I'll cut the balloons too because I can always punch them with a heart or something. And look at here, there's some on the back as well. And for right now, since I'm not using it at the moment, I'm just going to cut it out and put it in. Okay, so I have... I have a few different ones of these and so this one has words in it and scrap pieces of things and so I'm gonna put that in there um, I just these would go in there as well so um, let's see Got a heart here, and that's a scrap piece of paper. And I've cut all kinds of things. There's this is off of a Project Life card. This is some um, scrapbook paper that I cut up. Scrapbook paper that I cut up. Um, the packaging from Project Life cards. What do we got down here? I'm looking for. Oh, there's that. There's an and. With God, all things are possible. It's a cool little one. Lemon Lush. Arden, it just needs a big G. Yeah, and who knows when I'll ever use them, but. Oh, I like that. Tiny Treasures. The green and that's from a uh, from packaging oh a little tiny dot that says love this life that's kind of cool oh here's Webster's I have family that are the Webster's so <laughs> I cut that out um, yeah this is out of an Oprah magazine. Live your best life in every way, every day. A cupcake. Project Life card. Packaging. Batman. Some kind of packaging. So, um, so I just, I cut those up. Here's a sticker. It was the last, the only sticker left on a sticker sheet. So it's in here. There's just all kinds of fun things. Um, I think we'll probably use one of those. Sit long, talk much. A bunch of coffee cups. That's cool. An angel. Cute little cars. That's out of a scrapbook paper. Oh, look at those little teeny tiny angels. <laughs> okay. So, oh, and a little teacup. Cute. Okay, so I have this box that I can go to. Then I have this box. And this is scrapbook papers that I had fussy cut. So I have cupcakes and donuts and alcoholic beverages and cameras and cameras and hearts and a scooter and a bike, some gold things. Um, cupcakes and sweet things and kitchen stuff and baking stuff and mason jars. So those are all in here and I um, 
had to go to a class. I didn't have to take the class, but I had to be there in support of this. And it was five weeks, four weeks of the class and then the test. And so I took those and fussy cut during the class. So the other thing I have here on my desk to use today is these cute little, this cat and a plant. And you might have seen those in the housewarming flip book that I did um, a couple days ago. And I just wanted to show you, this is the book that I used. It is Flow, book for paper lovers. And my dad got it for me at Barnes and Nobles. And it is so much fun. There is all kinds of wonderfulness in here. And I actually used some of the papers and the stickers and stuff in here that was this theme for my planner for this year. So, um, so what I used for this, there's a bunch of hanging plants. And this was the paper. And so I fussy cut out the kitty under the rug and the book, the cat, and the plant, and the tea, uh, tea kettle. And the coffee cup and the record player and the pillow and the, the lamp and so um, yeah so if you I mean old folk art kind of paper and then some old photographs I love this one home is where you park it <laughs> today is an adventure there's another piece of the paper like I'm using um, just really really cool these are circle stickers here so there's all kinds of circle stickers these are envelopes that you can cut out there's a paper doll it's a boy police officer some postcards this is just really cool and then these are some of like again that stuff that I used for my in my planner So how fun is that? How fun. Um, there was a big, I don't know, it's probably 10 by 30 um, that was a Parisian um, scene. And I cut it out and used it for my, my thing. So, you know, there's lamps, lamp stickers, teacups, thermoses light bulbs light lamp and this is and it's and there's houses and people it's just really really cool um so far it's just been hard to to use it's like i, I just want to save it but i did finally use it to make um to make the housewarming uh flip book photo album and today I'm going to use it um, to make one of one of these cards. So um, to start off, I think what we'll do is we'll use one of the plain white ones. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and use this. And this is from the mini erasers um, from the Target dollar spot. So the butterflies that I've been using in some of my, my things or the little Easter eggs. And this came in there. So it says mini erasers. It has that cute little chick and that flower. So I know I'm going to want to add some cording to the tag. So I have this in my drawer right here. Um, I have silver right now. I think I've used up most of the gold that I had. But these come like when you buy gift tags and stuff like that. And I save them. I don't necessarily use the gift tag the way it's supposed to be used. So I just save the little cording. So there, I'm going to just go ahead and, wow. You know what? I'm going to make it shorter. Save it. <laughs> Let's do. I'm going to double it see how that works. No, I'm not. I'll cut it. 
in half. I don't want to waste it. Wish I had some raffia on my <laughs> on my table here. I don't. Um, I've been using raffia in a lot of my spring uh, things I've been making for spring. So I need to make a card. So that's why I'm. I was like, well, I'll go ahead and do this. But I also need to be getting the guest room ready for guests. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and leave it like that. And then what I'm going to do here, is I'm going to cover this. I don't want, um, obviously don't want it to say erasers. Now if it was some of the things that I do, actually, I wouldn't mind if it said that. But on this particular thing, I do not. So I have this double-sided tape. And I have... Let's see if this is going to cover it. And it will. So let's... There's... Okay. We'll cut the... Cut the ex sorry about that. We'll cut the excess off, and we'll go ahead. This is double-sided tape. I get it at our um, fake dollar store. <laughs> it is acid-free, so I can use it. I usually use it for photographs um, to put photographs in things. But today I'll use it on this. Okay, so we're going to just line it up and put it on there. So now we've taken and used a tag to make an embellishment. And here we have this one. And my ATG gun is misbehaving. Oh, I know why. I know why. It's missing its the holder. Okay, well we're not messing with that right now. So we do have some aliens tacky glue right here. <laughs> if all the spells reach for the tacky glue. Okay, so I've got this little piece. It's also from some packaging. I think this was from the Webster stickers that I had gotten. And we're just going to go ahead and have it kind of go on there. And then Tiny Treasures. We have a new grandbaby. And so I think this is something that I'll put in her pile of, of um, embellishments to use for things for her. Okay. And there we go. So I'm just going to cut in an inverted V. And then I am going to go over here. This morning I cut out a bunch, a bunch of, I punched out so many different things. So I'm over here looking for a piece of like lace, maybe. I had put it under it, but that's okay. I say that a lot, don't I? Okay. Just line it up, and I 
cut the one side with my scissors so it might not be totally straight. Okay. I want it to be over further because I want it to go under the heart. I changed my mind. <laughs> I changed my mind. So do you use packaging? Do you save tags, packaging, and use it in your projects? I use it especially for cards and pocket letters and things like that. Um, snail mail. Um, there we go. We have this cute little pink heart. Cute. <laughs> we have this little pink heart that I punched out this morning. Let's go ahead and get it wet on the back. Stick it under. Okay, and then Okay, over here I have some silver threads that I already have um, I already have ready and they are I take this double-sided tape and I make these little rectangles and so they're just held by the rectangles on themselves okay so sometimes they're hard to to get apart but there we go just take the Okay. And then what we're going to do is, somewhere here, I have my little heart punch. And, okay, I'm going to find a, find a paper that I can use. Okay, I might not be able to. Yeah, I can. Okay. There we go. And you can just uh, attach it, but I like to go ahead and add glue. It just seems to, to work a little better. I'm going to put the tiny over the top, I'm going to throw this in the trash. And there we have, from trash to tiny, to tiny treasures. Okay? And then the whole idea was to put this on a Polaroid. Okay? So I think we'll just attach it so that it's going to go like that. And I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to attach it with tape. Okay. So I have my pink high heel, and then I have a black high heel of tape also. Okay. So there we go. We have a little embellishment. Okay. And next, we're going to grab another one of these Polaroids. And I think this one will go ahead and we're going to use a heart. I have some of these already cut out. I was going to cut that out, but I then I found these in the box that we pulled out. So there's there's the heart. Okay. And then we have this project life card. And 
I have so many Project Life cards. I could do Project Life. I probably could do 20 years of Project Life. <laughs> probably more than that. And still not even made a dent. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm ripping around the sentiment here, which is extraordinary every day. And um, I don't know if you noticed, but when you rip, if if you're on some on a paper that has a base of white, and if you hold the one side and then tear with the side that you want the white to show, you can get that effect. Okay, so if I hold this one and I tear this way, then the white is going to be on this side. So, there you go. So, extraordinary every day. Kind of like that, just like that. So I'm going to put the glue onto the... the Polaroid here. And... Have that go like that, and then come down here and have the glue there and there. Put the heart on, and then this cat. This was from the Flow book. Then I fussy cut it. Um, the heart was from a paper that I got a few years ago at Michaels. Okay, there you go. It's kind of uh, very simple. I think I might add some bling to it. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I clean off that glue. And then, um, let's see, here we have some bling. I get this little bling at my fake to my fake dollar store. And I put dot 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 on a lot of my um, on most of my projects. So I sign things Julie a flower Julie dot dot dot. So there's the dot dot dot. And then we do have some raffia. Now I'm, <laughs> yep, I'm going to take it apart. And I think what I'm going to do is thread it through here. You're watching me on the fly. I did cut out, the, cut out some stuff, but I have no idea what I'm going to do with anything. So this is some of the raffia I was talking about that I've been using in my projects. Okay. And we'll tie the bow, make it a little smaller so it's more in um, scale with this particular little piece. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut these two pieces off. So we have this little um, fussy cut, torn raffia that was on the table. So we have this little one. Okay. And then we have another one. Actually, we have this cool one. Okay, so I have this. I think we'll go ahead and make a banner. So I'm just going to cut up the center and cut it in from the sides. Might not be perfect, but it will work. 
and we're gonna go and do it again for the other side Whoop. <laughs> okay so we're gonna use the banner and then I have this little book and it's just flat and what I'm gonna do to give it some um, substance is I'm gonna go in and where the sides this the what do they call that <laughs> where the binding would be I'm gonna give it two folds so you see I've given it two folds and then I'm gonna take the skewer and I'm gonna just roll this page and roll this page a little bit I'm gonna put my glue on the edges of the book Wow I'm shaking why is that okay glue and then I'm gonna attach it like this with the book binding up okay so it gives it some depth it gives it the illusion like when you um, when you set down a book and it's okay so there and I just glued put some glue on that and then I'm gonna rub it off okay where's my little towel there it is okay so we have the book and since we have this cool little plant <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and glue the cool little plant like this. Okay. And then I think we'll put this little cup down here. So I, I hope that you're getting an idea. This is a little, this is different than most of what you'll probably see out there. Um, using and making like a little still life. It almost kind of looks like it could be a window. And then you could add some words here. Um, let's see if we've got any good words in the box. Oh, I have another box. So I have this other box that I found and so it has, this is Heidi Swap Packaging. This says Pickup Trucks. It's from Stamps. We have Happy, Celebrate, Hello. These are from the Target or the, the Michaels $1.50 spot. Here, this is stamped. So this one says, take time to enjoy life's simple joys. I like that. So I think we'll just, we only need glue on this part. Oh, but you know what? I think it needs, no, I actually don't think it needs to be distressed. I think we'll just let, leave it. So we're going to go ahead and I stamped these. I, um, I have them on cards on my desk to use. I... I have like six or seven stamps across in front of me and they're the ones that I use all the time. Um, this one can can work for pretty much any occasion. So there we have another little Polaroid using the stuff on my desk. Hooray! So we have, um, oh, we got another Polaroid here. So, are you still there? <laughs> um, so we're going to go ahead and cut the bottom off this one too. And I have this. Um, I did a wedding album 
that was Ariel under the sea and it started out with once upon a time and I used this paper in it so I'm gonna just fussy cat around this once upon a time oh I thought I can use I'll have to go get it out of the, the die cut box okay so we have Once Upon a Time, and we got over here. This is last week's die cut box. Oh look, at, I got this new die, it's a, one of those little trailers. So we have a crown, we have a little fairy scepter wand thing we have a ch chariot thing we have a chandelier we have that paper So that's what we have in there. And then we have um, yeah, I don't see anything there. Okay, so we have the Polaroid. We can do this banner. Maybe. Or not. No banner. How about lace? Yeah, maybe the lace. So we're going to want that to be up. That may be over. Okay. Let's... Okay. So we got the lace. It's always fun to sit there and actually be thinking, figuring out what you're doing. Okay, I kind of like that. Okay, well, let's see. Do I have any papers? I really don't have very much over here anymore. Aha! We have this. A vellum sign. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put glue on the tab. I'm gonna put the the little fairy wand, the crown. Then I'm going to come down here. I don't, I don't think I'm going to use this. Oh, and I cut these out of silver paper. And there, it's a new die um, for me. I got it. It's a Spellbinders die. I got it at Michaels. And um, I. I'm excited to have it. I have a couple of Disney things to do. 
So, you know what? I'm gonna go there. So this is just to give you an idea, some other ideas besides just banners with hearts and things on them that of things that you can do with Polaroid, um, things that you can do with uh, your, you know, I cut this, this was a scrapbook page and I cut it out. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and Continue the circle-y thing here. Try. I'm catching. Okay. And here also. So there we have once upon a time and I think that's going to need some bling. I'm going to put a bling here. Whoa, that's a lot of glue. A bling here. A bling here. And I'll use the pink one. Some of these, they might, on the camera, they might look pink, but they're, they're, some are pink and some are orange. So, I want to make sure that we got, we got the pink and not the orange. Okay. And then I'm going to use the back of the skewer to set the, the bling. A once upon a time. So these are the ones that I made. I really like the cat. <laughs> so there you go. Um, trash to treasure <laughs> and things from your desk using up scraps. Um, all of these basically were scraps. Um, everything on, actually on here was cut from scraps. So um, I hope you enjoyed that video. And I hope that if you liked it, that you'll like it. Um, share it. Tell your friends about the channel. And find something to celebrate every day. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and add some silver to this kitty because it's here on the desk and yeah, so add a little, a little silver to the kitty. And then there was, I'll just take this for right now and put it on the back. <laughs> there we go. Have a great day. Bye-bye.